in this particular session we will continue with our next scenario with the name access control issue part one and the major objective here is like we can access the api credential when we click on the button we can access this credential whenever we click on that particular button now the major objective was now try to access the api credentials from outside the app it means we just need to trigger the action for this button without clicking on this button right we just have to trigger we just have to call this particular android activity without clicking on that button for that part you can use your adb android debug bridge which comes with activity manager am but we don't know the name of this activity to figure out the name let's go with the source code and under source code go with your manifest file and from the manifest file you have to figure out the name of this main activity here because the button was declared or defined inside this activity access control issue part one and the similar looking name was here you can see with the name jakhar asim diva access control one activity so just open the source code for this activity here the source code is here you can see we got our source code so this was at line 12 we got the basic class declaration here at line number 13 we got simple on create method which will be triggered when we open this activity access control issue part one after this part at line number 19 we got another method with the name view api credentials which will be triggered when we click on this view button inside this method we got an object for the intent class intent class was mainly used to send or to like manage messages that were exchanged between different application component or between different applications but for the inter-process communication we generally use this intent class now you can consider this one as a message box whenever you want to send a message to another activity to another service provider to another application you simply send an intent and this message box can contain multiple values like it can simply contain some actions to be performed it can contain some results to be shared and it can also contain some other different values as well we generally call them extras but you can consider it as a simple message box now here we define an object for this intent class with the name i and this i intent will be used to set an action for this particular component and the component name was jacker.assim.diva.action.viewcreds we just got the component here it means whenever we trigger whenever we call this intent i it will call this particular application component till this line we have no idea like this particular component is an activity is a service provider is a broadcast receiver we have no idea if you go to the line number 23 here you can see we got i dot resolve activity method whenever you call i dot resolve activity method or inside this if condition you can see we simply call another method with the name start activity it means this particular component jakhar assume diva action dot view credits is a activity right which will get started when we click on this view credits button let's go with the source code for this particular activity here so if i go with the source code for view underscore creds otherwise you can do one more thing if you don't want to go with the source code we just need to trigger this action to trigger the action find out the exact call here for the same activity you can see the particular intent which we use here is a filter for your this api creds activity if I simply send a message to view underscore creds component or if I simply call this particular intent jakha.assim.diva.action.viewcreds this api creds activity will be responsible for handling and managing the intent named jakha.assim.diva.action.viewcreds it means we can directly call this particular activity or you can directly call this intent with this name and to do this you can directly use your adb and for the adb just go with your terminal just go with adb shell am and then after am part you just go with the enter 
so here you can see that we have a complete list of actions that you can perform with your activities so i'll simply maximize so you can better see these options here all these options you can perform with your activities so right now we just have to start the activity and for that part we'll simply call this intent filter so just copy this intent filter and go with the basic command we just want to start activity so to start activity just go with the simple start command and you have to go one more filter here that was hyphen a for the action part so let's go with the same adb shell am we just want to start an activity and hyphen a for the action what action we want to perform and i'll perform this particular action view underscore credits and if i hit enter you can see we were able to access these api credentials without clicking on that button on all those applications if the activities were exported only then you can call them with your adb and by default all the activities were exported so you just have to protect them by yourself if the activities were not in the protected mode any application or you can say even through your simple adb command you can call the internal components which should be available only after authentication you can directly call those components without authentication you can simply bypass the authentication this was your basic access control issue part 1 have a good day and stay connected